tutorial video is to encourage users to utilize all the key enhancements done in terms of layout in ADS 2011 release. The biggest improvement in ADS 2011 in terms of layout is addition of this layout toolbar which can be activated by users as it is not switched on by default. In order to activate this toolbar, one can go to Tools, Manage ADS AEL add-ons and switch on the command line editor. Once this option is selected and ADS is restarted, one can see the layout toolbar in the Tools toolbar menu here. I have placed this toolbar on the lower side of my screen so that it becomes more convenient in order to perform some of the editing options using this toolbar. Now let's make some kind of dummy shape in order to understand how some of these new enhancements can improve the experience of a layout engineer. For that let's select this path command and let's make a path of a square corner type with a width of 0.2 mm as my layout units is mm. So we can go ahead and make some kind of polygon which we shall edit later and once we are done we click OK. So some of the existing um, capabilities of the layout is, is still available. For example, if we double click on this path, we can change the layer on which it is drawn. We can change the width of the component or the segments. For example, instead of 0.2, we can make it 1 mm thick. If it is a metered or a corner or curved corner, we can change some of these properties here. We can also change the corner type to be square, metered or curved. So right now let's leave it to square and see what happens to layout if we change the width to 1. So when the width is changed, we can see there is an increase in the width. And if we need to change the corner type, we can simply double click on the trace and change it to curve corner. And we can insert the curve radius. So now all the corners can be seen as the curve objects. Another nice improvement is to do some size editing or segment editing in layout because sometimes it may be required to fit the shape in a specific size on the layout which is available. So in order to do that once we select the new system handle uh, on the layout objects make it really easy to edit some of these functions. So once I select one you can see some of these corner handles which can be picked up and our layout can be modified in the desired manner as needed. There's also a rotate icon pretty much like MS Word or PowerPoint kind of structures using which we can rotate this object to particular angle. Right now the angle is set as 90 degree but the user has a control to change the increment rotation angle. However, that's too basic. Let's look at little more uh, nice features than that. So if we have to modify the shape um, despite having these handles and we have to pick any specific point and adjust the layout, same can be done by right clicking on the structure and click on add vertex. So using this we would be able to have more handles on this object and modify the layout property. For example, we can go to this segment here and click to add a vertex and then there is a curvature which can be formed in order to modify the segment. Now because our corner type is selected as curve, all the corners of the segments will be rounded off by curve. If we violate certain condition of the curve radius etc, we are going to get this warning stating that it is not a valid shape which can be maintained because of the selection you have done. However, uh, some of these common editing functions are pretty nice. So one, once the structure is modified and we can observe that the corners are in curved nature, at any point of time we can change the corner shape. We can double click on this object and go back to our square object and then let's see whether this trace is having all the corner ones. If metering is needed, we can go ahead and change it to meter and we can define the metering percentage. So let's go for 50% metering percentage and now all the corners can be seen as meter. Now how to use the layout toolbar can be very easy because uh, ADS provides a command line, a command reference here by which users can learn the command 
which can be used in order to modify the layout from the command line. So let's take a simple example of moving this vertex here by 5 mm on the top. So we can command, we can type the command dy plus 5 and once we enter, you know, the structure gets modified as per the command. Another thing we can do is select this edge and shift it by minus 10 mm so that, you know, the layout gets stretched in minus x direction. Similarly, all the reference uh, can be picked and we can start typing command in order to modify this. Some of the common editing toolbar buttons are here, such as copy, uh, crop, chop, split, you know, convert to polygon, doing the merging, making a union objects. But so the another nice thing, especially for MMIC kind of people, is let's say we have uh, three objects scattered anywhere in my design, a few objects scattered anywhere in my design. And we can select all of them or uh, we can do a focus selection and we can align them either in top direction uh, to the middle uh, points or to the bottoms or left side, etc. So let's take a look at how it is done. Once we select the objects and we click on align to left and we click the button, all object gets aligned on the left hand side. Similarly, there's an option to align on the right hand side. So some of these things make uh, chip tiling uh, for wafer uh, design, etc. is very, very easy. There are lots of other improvements in ADS 2011 in terms of layout editing and layout features. I would strongly recommend users to go through the layout documentation to understand all the new things which are introduced with ADS 2011. So thanks for watching this video and I hope uh, you get all the success with your designs and you enjoy using ADS 2011 release. Thank you very much.